Good morning. It is a very special day today. It's my transplant birthday. I'm very excited because I didn't die. And someone should be excited when they don't die, okay? I'm doing something exciting. I am going to see if I can hit my college squat max. It's gonna be so cool if I can say that I hit my college max uh, one year post transplant. I mean, come on. I would not have been able to pick up like this bag if it was like full. No, or if I did pick it up, it was like, it was extremely, extremely difficult. <sighs> like opening jars? No. No way. You ready to go work out? <laughs> so what I need to do first is to warm up really gently, really gently, so that I don't like go too overboard and not have enough stamina to actually lift heavy. If I hit it, I'll put it in here. If I don't, that's okay. But we're just gonna try and hit it this morning and see what happens. Well, as you saw, we didn't do it, <laughs> which is okay. That's fine. Am I a little pissed off about it? Yes. Yes, I am. But that is okay. I'm re-putting my goal to the day I got discharged. So maybe I can hit it by then. If not, I just want to do it by the end of the year. That's the new plan. And my battery is dying, so I need to go charge it because we have a lot of things that we're doing today. You want to say hi or no? Hello. <laughs> we are on the way to my doctor's appointment first, and then we're going to the Grand America. Oh, look at that huge happy birthday sign. I should go stand in front of that and then cover up the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to the doctor's first, and then we're going to uh, the Grand America. Is that what it's called? Yeah, or just like Grand America. Yeah. I kind of already know all of it anyways because I saw Dr. Johnson two days ago. He's my actual real doctor is what I say. <laughs> because the transplant team doesn't know me. They only knew me for three months, <coughs> two months, something like that. They just need to sign off on me and say that they're done with me. They just want more money. It's true. I do just want more money. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, well, we were in there forever. We were literally sitting there for an hour. An least. hour and 10 minutes, about. No. Just waiting for the doctor. They're never, ever, ever on time. I will be um, cured or cancer, I'm already cancer free, but I'll be cured in five years. Four years to go? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, we're just gonna do six month follow-ups with scans and everything. But other than that, it's good. So yeah, do you have anything to add? No. Okay. We're excited. Yes. I mean, we already knew everything that they were gonna say, pretty much, just because she's already met with Dr. Johnson. But they just wanted to see her again, I guess. Now we're headed to lunch. Lunch. I am so excited. I don't think I'll take my camera in there. I might. I might like unscrew it and everything. Yes. I'm so excited. They have like mini sandwiches. I love mini sandwiches. You just love sandwiches and you love things that are small. So. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. It could be a, a mini anything and you'd be excited about it. That's true. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. I did not vlog while we were at afternoon tea is what they call it. Just because I didn't really want to. Just wanted to like enjoy myself. It was so fun. Like I 100% would go there so many times okay so many times no one has ever done anything for like me being done with cancer or me beating cancer or something like that i had booked the tea time myself i wanted to celebrate no matter who did what i was gonna celebrate because it was an extremely hard thing to do a transplant so hard. I'm pretty sure like top three. Top three hardest things I've ever done. In my life, if you knew everything about my life, um, that's pretty hard. But this morning I came down to Roses from Logan, which was so nice. And he got me like these pink ones and I love pink roses. But yeah, I'll put up some pictures here. Our server was like this cute little old man. Oh, I just love him. So we did that. And then afterwards, we went to Home Depot to do some adulting. It's so beautiful inside the Grand America. Oh, it's so beautiful. They have their Christmas stuff already set up, which is amazing. We like walked through that and it goes like through the perimeter. We saw the huge gingerbread house, so big. Oh my gosh, it was so big. It is like, I could live in it, for sure. Literally, this vlog is just me sitting and talking to you. Sorry. <laughs> I've been busy. We had a wardrobe change. Oh, it's easy to treat. Gotta go into something a hair more comfortable than jeans, you know? I'm getting ready for dinner. I just posted on Instagram that it was my birthday. And then I just posted a reel that kind of like went along with it being my birthday. Ugh. And I got so, so many nice messages from people that are just like, oh, I just love that you guys are all so nice and so supportive and so nice. Can I, how many times can I say that? We are making, we, I, I am making burrito bowls. Okay, I'm gonna cut these uh, pepper and onion for the burrito bowls. And I thought while I do that, we can chat a little bit. I just wanted to talk a little bit about some things that I've learned the past year. I don't even know if anyone will care about that, but I'm gonna do it anyways because it might be nice for me to look back on. I think my biggest takeaway from the last year is just how much strength I personally have and women in general have. Just how hard of things that we can do. Like, I sometimes it blows my mind. We have so much control. We have so much control over what is happening to us and how it happens to us. 
Like, yes, I get it. We, we cannot control everything. I know that. Like cancer, you can't control whether you get cancer, whether you don't get cancer, whether your body fights it or it doesn't fight it. However, you have 100% control over your thoughts, feelings, and actions about the situation. It could be freaking apocalypse and you can have, you can choose your thoughts, feelings, and actions about that situation. But I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned. Like, I can choose what I want from a situation. Do I want to be depressed every single day, all the time? No. Okay. So what am I going to do about it? Am I going to go get help for it? Can I go get on medications for it? Are there groups for it? Is there someone that I can talk to about it? Is there like someone on social media I can relate with about it so that I don't feel like I'm alone? And that one's a little tricky because you don't want it to seem like everything's perfect all the time for them because that is not the case with cancer. <laughs> it is not sunshine and rainbows. It's literally, if I was to give a percentage, it would be like 3% is good about cancer. Like, it's actually sunshine and rainbows and butterflies and ponies. The rest of it, it just, it freaking sucks. You have, you have so much more control than you think. And I hope that if you follow me, you decided that going to find a therapist and seeing it. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> that was my huge thing of ranch. Yes. Love that for me. <laughs> and look. What the heck? That is like a solid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is a great teaching moment for what I'm talking about. I can have my thoughts and feelings and actions about this certain situation and I could be real pissed off right now because that is literally like, that is quite a bit of that ranch container that just like exploded. I am choosing to think of it as being actually pretty funny. <laughs> that I am now trying to scoop this over a ledge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just getting worse. I just dragged my shirt through the ranch powder. Okay. I'm going to choose to see this as an actually pretty funny thing. Literally cannot control. It's already done. Could you imagine if it went like, like into my hair and my face and my mouth and just oh I don't I really don't think I could eat ranch again if that happened I challenge you to send me a circumstance where you think that you can't choose your thoughts feelings and actions about it and I I will help you try to figure out a different thought about it that you could have if you want to and if you don't guess what you don't have to isn't that amazing about agency? There's a choice to choose if we want to think a certain way or not. <sighs> I'm just going to close out this video because I am just rambling at this point. Hi. Say bye. Bye. It's good to see you. Thanks so much for spending my birthday with me. And I'm really grateful for this last year. I'm grateful for the trial of cancer. It taught me a lot. I'm grateful for some other... Uh, trials that I've had even though that sounds really messed up. I am. I'm really grateful for them. I've learned a lot and I've grown a lot as a human being. So yeah. Anyways, love you guys and thanks so much for being here and being subscribed and it means a lot that you watch these videos and I don't know. I like making them but it's nice to have 
people who like are with me like on this journey of trying to like heal everything from cancer and just like learning how to do that and just I don't know just supporting me I really appreciate it when you have guys have like subscribed and commented and liked and all that kind of stuff it means a lot that maybe I'm helping someone or maybe I just entertained you for the day or your morning or night and you're not going to bed that's fine too I hope that it was enjoyable anyways see you guys later and I'll see you guys next week okay bye what?